I am in the process of reorganizing my Society of Idea Collectors journal. This is the one for 2017. I am going to document on the cover that it was 2017. I have it indexed so I can pretty much find what I put in here by referring to the index. This got huge in the months from August to December of 2017. Not quite a half year. And I do have another composition book in here because I wanted an index. I will probably use these pages just for note taking and that type of thing. So what I want to do is take this and convert it to this but in a different way. I am reorging everything. Eventually everything is going to go in this custom binder that I got from Shannon and I had her do a prime one to my own specifications because I know that my journals grow fat no matter what I'm doing. Like look this is the 2017. Look at this. It already fills up this binder really nice. I had her do it expandable so that it could expand even more. That will be a little bit different for 2018. And you'll see as I go along, I just want you to know that pages that I have in my binder will eventually be put in here. And you'll see that as I work on it. Look, she gave me some extra vinyl for dashboards. I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to put this aside for now. You'll see how this develops throughout 2018. I also wanted to show you that I have my syllables binders set up with Happy Mail that I'm going to be pulling. Most of these things came in Happy Mail. Not everything, but most of it. And I am going to use it. I have stickers and epoxy stickers and stencils and little strips of fabric, stamps, Tim Holtz paper dolls, papers, and it just goes on and on and on. These are my calendar tabs. I'm going to be pulling from here just shortly. And just little things that I put in the ATC pockets here. So I have plenty to use in my art journal as I go through 2018. I feel like I have this pretty well stocked and at hand to where I can get to it. And I will be adding more to it. So I'm put these aside. Now I want to show you what I'm doing here. I am going to remove this cover and remove all these papers. And you'll see me do that. What I'm doing is I'm reorganizing my tabs. I had a mind map here. When we did a mind mapping homework assignment where Dee Dee had us mind map our different tabs, I got inspired and I said I really need to reorganize my entire journal. And I did a mind map and then I, throughout the year as I worked in my Society of Idea Collectors, I took notes about what was working for me and what wasn't and how I wanted to change my tabs. And that's what this page is all about. If you flip over here, these are my original tabs and the colors. I used big markers to color organize my tabs and those coordinate with the colors in my margin and my words. So I am reorganizing it. I've gotten rid of some of the tabs. Here you can see I got rid of homework as a tab. What I'm going to do is have a 
Society of Idea Collectors tabs, which would come down in here, and I got rid of the Notes tab, and what I'm going to do for Notes is put it in the front matter of this book. On, on this book, I did not have a tab section in the front. I just started working, and then I put my tabs, started my tabs in the back. So my front piece in here is going to be my notes section. So notes will become general, just the general section, only I'm going to be calling it notes. So I, I reorganized that. Reference and random, I'm keeping, I'm keeping research, I'm keeping my spiritual, YouTube, art activities. I decided I really didn't need that. I put it under art itself. I added some new tabs. My new tabs are going to be the calendar, the syllables. Now, I'm going to have my syllables pages in conjunction with my calendar, but I may be doing other syllables projects. So I'm going to make it a little category by itself. I added a, a stamping tab because I got really interested around October, November with carving stamps so that's kind of a new category for me I was going to put in design but then I decided not to I'm going to include my design with my art this is going to be my general front matter tab here I'm going to call it notes I added a society of idea collectors tab because I found that I was keeping all my notes from Dee Dee's Society of Idea Collectors videos. When I watched her videos, I'd, I'd take notes of what interested me. And so I'm going to include a tab for Society of Idea Collectors in there. I was going to have an idea tab, and then I decided against it. I, I figured the ideas would probably be a subcategory in any one of these tabs. Like you're collecting all these ideas for the different categories. I did start a new tab toward the end of 2017 in this journal I created an index section and this is where I'm indexing everything that's in my 2017 so if I want to know what I took notes on I can just look here in my reference and then refer back to the page number so I'm going to have an index tab I thought I'd do fussy cuts, but I'm going, no, that's that's really a whole different area. I'm going to keep that in, like, my glue booking, and I don't need to accumulate fussy cuts in these. I might generally refer to fussy cutting or where I'm getting images, that type of thing, but that would come in one of maybe projects or art. I was watching, I don't know if it was G. Brody or... One of the other YouTubers out there who are doing Society of Idea Collectors had a brain dump section. That might have been Jerry Bellini. I'm not sure. So I thought, well, maybe I should have a brain dump uh, section. And so I added it there as a possibility, but then I decided against it because I have a writing tab. And brain dumping really is like where you sit down on the paper and just... Just get on paper what's in your head. And to me, that's more mind mapping, writing. It's really a daily exercise. And I'm not sure that I want a separate tab for it. It may become a possibility later. I'll keep this list. And I'm sure throughout 2018, I'll find things that I want to switch around. Words. I'm adding a words tab. Peg Robinson and Shell C are reorganizing their pick a stick challenges to where they are challenging us with words. And lo and behold, uh, Gina's group on my creative year are doing word challenges. So I'm sure that I'm going to be picking up some words. I also have my own ARCAD words. I might start drawing ARCADs on here and doing words in my Society of Idea Collectors. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I added it. 
now when I did this mind map over here, I was saying to myself, I need to put some of these in their own section, lists. I could have a whole book for lists. I could have a whole book for index. And then I got to thinking, I could have a whole book for every tab. And I'm going, well, I'm not sure I want 21. Oh, I also added a design teams tab because I joined two design teams out there. So I'm going to be keeping track of ideas and projects there. But I have 21 different tabs. These are subcategories here. I also put them in alphabetical order. These are not in alphabetical order. I found throughout the years I worked on these, I'm going, now where's YouTube? And if it was in alphabetical order, I would know to start looking toward the end of the pages. So I put them in alphabetical order. I'm going to keep the colors. I like these colors, but I probably will not do them with big pens because I am going to keep my sort of in page tabbing on the margins here. I do like that. I like it because I can associate a color with a tab and I can almost go to it based on color. But I do think I'm going to use my ink tints because it's a lot easier to just take a paintbrush and paint a line down there, then take your markers and color them in. And, and I'm going to be doing that on every page like I did here. So I have a lot of work left to do. But I feel like I've gotten a good start on my organization. So you can see where I'm going with that. You can see why I'm kind of slow getting started because I'm started, but it is a huge project. It's a huge project. <laughs> There's a lot of work to this. And I'm going, well, I don't want to fall behind in doing my syllables pages because we're already into the first week of January. This is January 3rd, and I want to do my syllables and keep up with that. I'm going to incorporate that with my calendar. I've got a calendar tab here. And what I'm going to be doing instead of doing my calendars in my general, see, here's August. And I call this a calendar. It really isn't a calendar. I just jotted down some of the things I did in August as they happened. And I did that from August through December. But I'm going to put all this in a separate calendar tab. And then I'm going to have my little syllables pages next to it. So you can see even in 2018, it's going to grow fat. I want pockets. I want envelopes because... I need them. <laughs> so I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to talk about the setup for 2018. I decided what I'm going to do is tear these these page these composition books apart. So here we go. Here's the pages. I'm going to take one out if I can at the front. I'll probably have to, maybe at the back would be better. I'll have to remove all those threads in there. But let's just remove a page. If I can get it out without tearing it. So this is actually what I'm going to use. And this is what I'm going to be doing the margin work on. Let's take one out talk about this cover. I'm going to get a few more of these. What I like about these, and I can even use file folders. I was watching a project, I believe it was Aunt Beck, who took her composition book and covered it with a calendar page. And I am thinking, painty papers, painty papers, because I've got a lot of painty papers in Happy Mail. So these will be dividers within my custom binder from Shannon. And I'm going to collage these with painty papers. Maybe make one a dashboard. So these will get used. But here's my paper. 
And what I'm thinking is Midori style. I'll take three or four of these and make a section. And as I need more paper, I can add more paper. I might have to create another folio in that section, but I can, it's adjustable, it's removable. They can grow or be as small as I need them. Now, what about my syllables? calendars. Well, here's my thought. And I think I'm also going to do this for the My Creative Year project. This is a 18 by 24 inch watercolor pad. I got it half price. Well, actually 40% off when they run their sales at Hobby Lobby. And I'm thinking, I'll have to remove this page, I won't do this online, and if I put it this way, look, I can get four, eight, and then I will have, I will have margin paper on both sides that I can use for art cards or ATCs in my giveaways. So, let's just say each sheet will make me eight eight pages and let's just say there's four weeks in a month some months have five weeks but we're just going to say four weeks in a month that's two months off of one page so I really only need six maybe seven maybe eight pages of this for my syllables art I'm thinking I'll make it the same size I may need to trim it down just a little because I have an idea that it will be sticking out as I put it in. But it's all going to be Midori style. Everything's going to be Midori style. So if something's not working for me, I can adjust it. And I really do like that idea. And I think once I get everything going and adjusted and get a good start on it, I think that more ideas will come, but I need to get started on January. I'm going to concentrate on setting up for January my calendar tab, and then I'll set up the other tabs as I go and work. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I've done a lot of work. I've done a lot of thinking about this. I also have some of this composition paper in graph paper. And I'll be incorporating that into here, too, to do drawings and sketches. Sketches was another tab that I added because I found myself doing fast sketches in my Society of Idea Collectors. I am really looking forward to getting this all set up for 2018 and actually start using it. I think this is going to be a fun project. I was going to incorporate my work for my creative year in here, but I can see that there's just not going to be room. I'm going to perhaps persuade Shannon to create another binder for me for my creative year. So that's a whole nother group. I was thinking I could incorporate the two, but there's just, I need, <laughs> it'd be too fat. So I'm going to be doing, I think, two of these. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to sharing my ideas with you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.